Grand rising. How you doing, sexies? Sorry if you hear some stuff in the background. Hopefully my phone is capable of drowning that sound out. But, um, yeah, I'm just chilling today. I think I filmed a couple TikToks. No, I did not. I filmed a couple Snapchat videos. I love to like talk to you guys on Snapchat and just like hang out with y'all, it's fun. I try to make it a routine that if I don't post, I'm at least posting on my stories every day. So yeah, I have some chai, I have some chai tea. It looks like shit, but it's actually really good. I think it's rainy. I love the rain, y'all. But anyways, through the can away, so I can't show you. The grocery stores out here in Hawaii, there's like different cans of like like bubble bubble tea, I think that's what they call it, instead of boba. They'll have like the main flavors and like little cans. And they're like a dollar. And I love them so much, but I have noticed when I drink them, all the boba is at the bottom. And I'm like, so I decided to put it in a mason jar today and it looks really different. Like normally I feel like mine is a lot lighter when I make it or when I get it, it's usually like a lot lighter than this, but it is what it is. Like it's not nasty. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I had a blunt earlier and um, it was nice, but I don't know, man. I'm feeling kind of weird. So I guess it's not weird vibes. I guess it's just like, I'm just like in my head and I'm just thinking a lot. I feel like I need more time to like, more time to like sit and do nothing so that I can get like creative, so I can get like my creative mind back. I feel like having two jobs is like awesome, but I feel like when you're working at one, you have to decompress, not carry anything from the first job to the second job. And I feel like my decompress time has been rushed by far. Like I love to have like me time and like to chill and stuff. And I've just, I've cut it a lot. So I feel like my creative, my creative brain is just on sleep mode right now. I think it's okay to have those days where you're just like, thinking about all your moves and what you're gonna do next and how things are and being realistic about your situation rather than, rather than ignoring everything and just like pretending like everything's peaches and cream and everything's okay. It's good to recognize like the things in your life, you know? This is a weird video. Um, I might go on a walk today. I did hear that there was a secret um, beach like around, but I don't know where it is. I've walked like, at least I feel like I've walked around this whole place, like in this area, and I've never seen a secret beach before. But I do smell salt water sometimes. Um, I've been juggling like a lot of stuff. So I think that's why I'm kind of just like pooped, you know? And like my creativity is just like out the window. I love making videos and I love like coming up with ideas and concepts. And there's like so much more that I wanna do that I haven't done. It really makes me happy to like film and edit and post and remind you guys and talk with you guys. And it's just so freaking fun. I have such a good time, but my window of being able to do that is smaller now. I used to be able to spend hours and hours and hours. No one said it was going to be easy though. We have to we have to work really hard for the things that we want. Be the type of person that wants to be in the entertainment industry. You want to be famous, or you want to be a rapper, singer, model, an artist, whatever the case may be. I feel like 
If you're not the type of person who puts their art out there and it pops off right away, you're more than likely gonna have to like get a regular job on top of hustling and doing what you do. And it's hard, man. It's draining. It's hard. Even if you find a job that you love, you find two things that you love the most, it's still gonna be draining because you're putting your all into both of those things. It is draining, but I'm 100% sure. 100% sure that it is worth it. <laughs> Nigga came out in the bonnet. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> but yeah. Love you more. Okay, I do not talk about this enough, but TikTok, the algorithm, even like, to be honest, like to be really honest with you, there's no social media platform that's like actually popular. There's no social media platform that everyone is actually using that actually allows you to post whatever you want. Instagram, maybe Snapchat lets you, cause I think I've seen like, so I think, I think Snapchat lets you, but Instagram, TikTok, I don't know, anything else. They always banned you for like posting like weed stuff in particular. That's what I want to talk about. I find it annoying that everyone gets banned for the stuff that they post. And then we see the most like, the most horrific things on the internet. Like we see the, the most terrible things on the internet. Like I remember um, someone, basically they wanted to leave the planet and they wanted to do it themselves. And they recorded it and posted it. And that shit was going viral on TikTok. It was on YouTube. I think, don't quote me on that, but I remember it being on TikTok. And I was like, are you kidding me? And like, I'll post a video of me taking a hit. That will get taken down, but not the video of the person leaving the planet. So yeah, that just like pisses me off to the max. <sighs> if you guys pay attention, Twitter, from what I've seen, actually listens to their fans a lot. Twitter is actually a funny place because it's, it's completely different from every other app that I can think of. It's a whole nother world. So you can like a, you can, you can like a tweet, you can retweet it, or you can quote tweet it. And basically they did this new update where the retweet button had like this extra feature on it and it was just extra. I would, I would come across that extra feature and it was such a freaking pain. I was so annoyed and everyone else was too. And they all like were talking about it and like adding Twitter and saying like, we don't like this. And just basically telling Twitter, we don't like this, give us our button back. And you know what Twitter did? gave them the button back. Ah. Ah. What I'm saying is like, we can totally make a change. Um, I'm gonna be really hungry later, so I think I'm gonna make some shrimp fettuccine. Yeah. Um, I think it's gonna be fire. I wanna make it infused. But yeah, I think I'm gonna clean up really quick. I'm probably gonna take a shower. And then after I make the shrimp alfredo, I really just wanna chill. Like I'm not trying to do a bunch of stuff. I love time bombs, they're my favorite. Back to cooking. Really the worst part about like cooking shrimp, like fresh shrimp, like there's like the butt on it, the legs are on it, there's even poop inside of them. So I have to like clean them and like do the most. <sighs> they have like, they need like so much love. So I'm gonna give them some TLC once they're done defrosting.
so glad it rained before I did my hair. So glad. Um, I feel so refreshed and it has been raining so much. My table is so wet, let me show you. Look at this. That's a good pussy sound like. Okay, so I'm fresh out the shower, my hand is wet. We're gonna get into the shrimp. I'm just going to like peel all the shrimps and put the tails and all the guts and disgusting stuff in here. I feel weird without my sleeves cuffed. Um, shout out to this brand it says love don't hate the guy who owns the brand is actually really dope his movement and his company are based off of like positivity and stuff like that and equality and just like cool stuff like that um ew. but yeah i also have a sweater from him that i didn't um i haven't posted in it yet just because i think i took pictures in it but i didn't like the way it looked you know when you take pics and you have like this whole idea in your head and then you see how it turns out and you're like oh <laughs> that's not what i wanted <laughs> he hit me up and i was like i was like pressing him i was like what's your company about show me your pitch basically you know really gravitated towards it i'm really about the positivity and the good vibes the sweater is really nice it's super soft and like I, re I really like it. I like to wear it at nighttime, even though it's never cold out here. Times at night, if I like go to the store, cause they be having the stores so air conditioned. I'd be dying and I'd be in the freezer section and like the cold aisles and that doesn't help. Or like right after the beach, sometimes when my hair is like super dripping wet, I like to wear like big t-shirts like this, um, even bigger, or I'll wear like hoodies and stuff like that because I don't really like my hair dripping. Wow, it is raining so hard. This one away. Uh, don't want my wet hair to touch me. No. Oh, it's So it looks good. On camera, it looks a little different. It looks a little different on camera, but in real life, you can actually see that there's like, it's like a little red. It's it's very cajun -y. So I'm definitely trying to see how this tastes. I'm like really crazy about the shrimps. I'm like, I need some shrimps. My little plate right here. And let's see. Oh my god, I'm a chef, I'm a whole chef. Noodles are like buttery and garlicky and then the shrimp does have garlic in it but then it's also spicy and then like it's like this buttery spicy there's like all these different flavors but they mesh together it's just fire this has no business being this fire we got some tincture this is 246 milligrams um 
fully THC, no CBD detected. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a tincture. If you don't know what a tincture is, it's a liquid usually um, infused with like ethanol and it has like THC in it. No taste at all. The color might be different, um, but no taste at all. Um, what else can I say about it? You can put it in drinks, you can put it in food, anything. It doesn't make anything taste different. Yeah, there's even people that I've heard of that like will drink like the whole bottle, which is insane. Get lit. I finished the pasta, the pasta was fire. Now I'm gonna pack another bowl so I can take a hit. Um, I'm already feeling the tincture like a little bit, which is nice. That's what we want. Oh, the bong's like in my face. Basically like ate a little bit and kind of like filmed. It was so refreshing to see me on camera doing something like a little bit different. It's possible that I get caught into routines and do the same things. It was nice to see me doing something different. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously not gonna stop smoking, but you know, I gotta start being creative with my lifestyle content and not only capturing the moments of me just smoking, you know? There's other things I can do. Cheers. the edibles have landed i have to take out the trash and i like <sighs> okay bringing you guys with me because if i don't i probably won't do it on my own <sighs> the eddies have landed thank you for coming with me